Well, it's always really good to see yourself Dick, here again and uh, that smile. That's a smile on your face. Uh-huh. You must be really happy with that performance. Oh, well, I've got to be. I, I had, you know, I wasn't happy. I've not been happy. Um, I think first and foremost, that's as good a side as we've put together in all my years at part-time level, anyway. And I didn't think we played well. I didn't think we were up for the work against Hibs. Dunfermline, Queen's Park, Airdrie, East Fife. I didn't think we were up for the work. Now, Ian has caused that the day he sent a clear message. But their intentions are there United. Full-time, stayed full-time, committed themselves. There's a lot of pressure goes with that. Full-time in a part-time environment. Have to get up, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, from my own performance... I go at the day. I go at what I think they're capable of doing. The day, they're a good team, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, you know, tell you sell. It's just a word of me saying that we deserved it. So, you know, it says it all. I thought we did deserve it. I think my goalkeeper had an awful lot to do. Very hard-working team, marked down mm-hmm. very quickly. Didn't give her much time in the ball at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you can't afford to. Uh, is that your first defeat? Yes. Ah, he's got a good side there. Uh, no, absolutely no doubt they'll be up contending uh, in contention for any honours getting dealt out at the end of the season. But I can only speak about my own team. And uh, I'm very happy with going into the break. You know, I've actually taken two games this week, Tuesday and Friday, to sort out the problems I've got. And then the day, I mean, seriously, I've not got uh, Skelly playing. I've not got Bobby Lynn playing, I've not got McCord playing, uh, I've not got Jamie playing, I've not got Brian Plenty playing. Uh, that's fine, that sounds, that, that keeps all them happy, I can win without them, but today I thought it was just about work rate and stopping their United playing, really. I thought we deserved to win the game. Well, Ian, disappointing today, disappointing result. I don't think you're too happy with the way the team played today. No, we didn't play well. We had too many of the big players, well, they've all been big players. They uh, just didn't perform and um, um, they looked, they both deserved to win and they looked hungrier than us and at home that's that's kind of not on. And to be honest, I, I, you know, I wasn't too hard on them because of what they've done so far but, you know, these are the type of games, even you take a draw and you move forward but uh, it was a, it was a really show one because great day, crowd were great um, and, and we let everybody down and uh, the reason I wasn't too hard on them was because I felt like being, but because you know they've started the season so well and they've done so, some of the football they've played has been fantastic. But today was a game for second balls and being hungry to get the ball and maybe just getting it into the last third of the field. And most disappointing thing was the second half. I don't think we threatened at all in the second half. Yes, they were very good though. They were a very well organised team as you'd expect from a Dick Campbell team. But also the fact they never gave you any time in the ball. They were right in on you, right on the ankles. Didn't give you any time to do anything. Yeah, and they're every right to do that. I mean, I've said, I mean, I don't know what he's talking about both, but they deserve to win. There's no doubt about it. They looked, they did the dirty side of the game far, far better than us. And it's something we've got to learn. We won't be able to always play free flowing football and score three of That won't happen. So... Um, it's seldom though that I think we'll have seven, eight, nine of our players off form, uh, and that happened today, and it was it was just dreadfully disappointing. You don't have much time to sit back and feel sorry for yourselves, though. You've got Tuesday night again in Montrose, so what are your thoughts about that? Well, it's a game we want to win, and you know we don't need to make that many changes. Although I could, I could, but uh, because there's no game on a Saturday, so. Um, you know, but listen, if we go out and play really well against Matros and win, it'll no make up for today. That was, uh, that was, re- you know, in, in, in some aspects of, the, of, of football, that was really, really poor today. And I, I think the boys all know that and they're all gutted. And um, but we move on. 